All right, all right, all right. Welcome to today. Happy Friday. It's Friday, y'all. It's Friday. How are you feeling today? Begin to have a beautiful day. Inhale. Exhale. It's a good day. It's a great day. It's an amazing day because we're going to make it so. All right. So today we're having Fun Facts Friday. Fun Facts Fun facts, Friday, okay? 10 fun facts that we'll be sharing with you. And we'll be doing this repeatedly every Friday morning, okay? So I'm DJ Kelly. You're listening to UME Radio. Thank you so much for joining us on UME Radio. It's fun having you. And please, please, please remember to subscribe. If you have not yet subscribed, like, share, comment. Share fun facts that you know with us, all right? So... And if you share them, we'll give you a call out and we will share your fun facts on our next episode. So please remember, share your fun facts that you learned. I don't know, like, have you ever gone out to like maybe family dinners or or um, whatever, dinner parties and there's there are no activity. There are no activities and you're just sitting down eating. I don't like those parties. <laughs> I like when I'm eating, I like to multitask. I don't know if you're like that too, but I like to multitask when I'm eating. I like to be eating and doing something else. And so I really, really like it when we're having dinner as a group and we're having um, interesting, thought provoking conversations. I don't like the gossiping or talking about the the bad news of the day Mm -mm. like i do not like that at all when you go to parties or dinners and you're sitting down and all you're talking about was the bad thing that happened or the gossip no i like when you have like quizzes or fun information you know that's pretty cool to share that that where you're actually learning something cool that you never really knew, knew before and then you can share that and stuff so i i like that kind of thing so here are some facts that you can share um, so these, what I'm going to share with you right now are 10 random fun facts to have on hand at your next dinner party. And remember, the host for the party doesn't have to be the one to do this. Even as a guest, it's good when you have something to contribute, when you can bring something exciting and, in- and interesting that you're able to then share uh, with them. You know what I mean? So here are 10 fun facts to have on hand at your next dinner dinner party of course i'm dj kelly like i said before i think i said it before dj kelly and you're listening to human radio so um thank you for being here now let's get to it all right so the first fact it's about the avocado now this is number one now did you know that avocados are a fruit not a vegetable I was in between. I wasn't quite sure. I used to think it looks like a fruit, but I treat it as a vegetable. (laughs) Right. So avocados are a fruit, not a vegetable. Vegetable. They're technically considered a single seeded berry, believe it or not. Now, the single seeded berry, I never thought about. I wouldn't even have thought about it being a berry. I never thought about it. Did you? Let me know in the comment section if you knew this. They're technically considered, avocados are technically considered as considered a single seeded berry, believe it or not. Now, number two, or a second fun fact, it's about the human teeth. Now, human teeth are the only part of the body that cannot heal themselves. Teeth are coated in enamel, which is not a living tissue, right? So... Human teeth are the only part of the body that cannot heal themselves. Number three, it's illegal to own just one guinea pig in Switzerland. Interesting. You never knew that. It's considered animal abuse because they're they're social beings and get lonely. And now that I think about it, I think that should go for all animals. I don't think anyone should have one of any animal around because where's the company? I think after a while they might just die of loneliness. That's what I think anyway. But I think sometimes people have like one dog. But I can understand if you have like one dog because the human interaction with the dog, the dog won't really get lonely. And I guess it's the same for like cats. Yeah. But I still think that having two of them, even if it's a dog and you interact with the dog as a human, I think that interaction with their own kind is important. 
personally that's just that's just my personal opinion so i understand this that's number three it's illegal um to own just one guinea pig in switzerland because the guinea pig um is a social being and so it's considered animal abuse because they're social beings and they get lonely so that's something to consider yeah now the next fun fact number four uh the ancient romans used to drop a piece of toast into their wine for good health hence why we raise a toast <laughs> oh my goodness i never thought about that before i did not know that did you know that please tell me in the comment section if you knew that i did not know that that's why it's called raise a toast come to think about it no like why were we toasting like why did they say toast why not well some people say raise a glass too but why do they call it i didn't understand why they called it toasting but now i get it wow the ancient romans used to drop a piece of toast into their wine for good health hence why why we raise a toast <laughs> that's interesting oh wow all right then number five on our 10 on our list of 10 fun 10 random fun facts to have on hand at your next dinner party we're at number five um the heart of a shrimp is located in its head <laughs> sorry that is funny the heart of a shrimp is located in its head they also have an open circulatory system which means they have no arteries and their organs float directly in blood oh interesting their organs float directly in blood the heart of a shrimp is located in its head they also have an open circulatory system which means they have no arteries and their organs float directly in blood interesting that that was interesting i don't know was it interesting for you tell me in the comment section just type yes um or shrimp yes or something just let me know if, if that's um if you if you knew that before or or if, if it's the first time you're actually hearing now this one this one for me i believe this one completely i really really do <laughs> have you ever been in the shower singing and while you're there it just sounds amazing no matter no matter how poorly you sing in general, when you do it in the shower, doesn't it sound better to you? What makes that so? <laughs> it always sounds better to me. And maybe it doesn't sound better, sound good to the people on the outside. But to me, it's usually, I mean, it just usually sounds like I'm doing really good. So here's the next fact, fun fact. Um, number six of the 10 random fun facts, right? people are more creative in the shower hmm when we take a warm shower we experience an increased dopamine flow that makes us more creative listen to that i believe it people are more creative in the shower when we take a warm shower we experience an increased dopamine flow that makes us more creative I guess, I guess not for the cold shower because when, when it's cold, you just want to get out. <laughs> oh, wow. I believe that one. Absolutely. And yeah, and now we're going to go to number seven. Okay. Now, nutmeg is a hallucinogen, a hallucinogen, a hallucinogen. The spice contains meristicin, a natural compound that has mind altering effects if ingested in large doses stop the car i did not know that i have heard i don't know how true this is i don't know if it's true or not but i have heard that nutmeg is in toothpaste because nutmeg is good if you're having bad breath and you just drink something with nutmeg in it or something it, it um helps with your breath and so i was I was told it's in toothpaste i'm not sure how factual that is but it says nutmeg is a hallucinogen the spice contains meristicin meristicin a natural compound that has mind altering effects 
if ingested in large doses. Whoa. All right. That's, I think that's, that's, I like that. I, that's good for me to know. <laughs> that is good for me to know because sometimes when I'm making drink or I'm making tea or whatever I like, I like to have like a lot of nutmeg in it. So I, I'll be more mindful now. Yeah, I'll be more mindful now. Okay. <laughs> that, that was interesting. We're at number seven of our 10 fun, random fun facts for today or fun facts Friday. All right, so now we're at number number eight, and it's about the French Burgundy. Um, a 73-year-old bottle of French Burgundy became the most expensive bottle of wine ever sold at auction in 2018, going for, listen to this, $558,000. That's US dollars. Wow. 439 300 pounds so that's 439,300 pounds and in US dollars 558,000 that is a 73 year old bottle of first of all wines last that long I did not know <laughs> that's an adult life yeah a 73-year-old bottle of French Burgundy be became the most expensive bottle of wine ever sold at auction in 2018, going for 558,000 US dollars. The bottle of 1945 Romani Conti sold at Sotheby for more than 17 times its original estimate of 32,000. That's a long time to have a wine though. And what do you do with it once you've purchased it? Do you drink it and end its life? <laughs> or do you just keep it and resell later if you want to? Oh, wow. Interesting. That, that, that was interesting. So the original estimate for the bottle um, was 32,000. After 73 years, it's 558,000 US dollars or 439,300 pounds. So let me just share that one, share that one more time. A 73 year old bottle of French Burgundy became the most expensive bottle of wine ever sold at auction in 2018, going for US dollars, 558,000 or approximately 439,300 pounds. The bottle of 1945 Romani Conti sold at Sotheby for more than 17 times its original estimate of $32,000. That's a bottle of wine. What do you do with it once it's purchased? Do you drink it? <laughs> Number nine. Number nine. A chef's hat has 100 pleats. Apparently, it's meant to represent the 100 ways you can cook an egg. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Wonder if Gordon Ramsay knows that. <laughs> Whoa. A chef's hat has 100 pleats. Apparently, it's meant to represent the 100 ways you can cook an egg. And it says, Wonder if Gordon Ramsay knows that. <laughs> <laughs> wow that's interesting oh my gosh and we have the final one coming up and i have a bonus one there that i might share with you well let's see <laughs> do you want the bonus let me know let me know in the comment section if you want it okay okay so we're talking about 10 i'm sharing i'm sharing with you 10 random fun facts to have on hand at your next dinner party and of course that's all under our fun facts Friday. So we are, we'll be doing this every Friday. Okay. Huh, so let's get on to number 10. Number 10. Number 10. So number 10 is, this was interesting to me. Ketchup. Ketchup was once sold as medicine. Ooh. 
the condiment was prescribed and sold to people suffering with indigestion back in 1834. I did not know that. I wouldn't even have thought that. Would you? Did you? Did you know that? If you knew that, please tell me. Please tell me. I'll reward you. Tell me. <laughs> oh, wow. Ketchup was once sold as medicine. The condiment was prescribed and sold to people suffering with indigestion back in 1834. If you knew this and you can prove it, I'll reward one person. The first person. The first person who can prove that they knew. I don't know how you prove it. <laughs> I'll reward you. This is amazing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And I have one bonus. It's really 10 that I intended to share, but I have a bonus one that when I was finished, I'm like, I have to share this one as well. Oh my goodness. This is the bonus. An ultra crepidarian. Have you ever heard that word before? I only heard it for the first time today. An ultra crepidarian is someone who is in the habit of giving advice on matters he or she, him or herself, knows nothing about. We have a lot of those people online. Sometimes I hear people making comments and giving um, commentary on things and it's pretty clear they don't really know, like have um, knowledge, adequate knowledge on what they're talking about. So an ultra, an ultra crepidarian is someone who's in the habit of giving advice because it's okay to discuss something and to, to ask questions about it and even share your own opinion, but to give advice is another matter, isn't it? Yeah. So an ultra crepidarian is someone who is in the habit of giving advice on matters he himself knows nothing about. Oh, wow. We've come to the end of today's um, feature, Fun Facts Friday. And I wish you just a great, great day. It's the first day in July. And it is, I, I, I hope that the rest of the month will just be full of joy for you. Full of joy for you. Um, find your peace and protect it. All right. Thank you so much for listening to us. I'm DJ uh, Kelly and you're listening to Yumi Radio and I'm so happy to have you here. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, share. We appreciate you. We value you. And it's our pleasure to entertain you positively. <laughs> Goodbye.